I wanted to do a short little mini review of these Keep Power 26650 batteries and tell you a great deal on them right now, if you're in the USA. These cells here come in a nice plastic box, as you can see, with a nice little closure. Pretty uh, nice battery storage. You can also store 18650s going this way or double A's. They come in a cardboard box like this, then that uh, has additional padding in there. That is what the end says. And then this is what the uh, plastic they are wrapped in says. One big concern with buying batteries is to make sure you get genuine batteries. I don't have the most sophisticated battery analysis hardware, but what I do have is this ISD T4 that we have seen and I reviewed earlier. And it does a really nice job, although it takes a long time to analyze batteries. I upgraded the firmware on this, which by the way, if you haven't seen the review of this, this is a great charger with some caveats. I upgraded the firmware and it solved a lot of the issues that I had with it. I did an analysis cycle on each of the cells. I have four total, and this is a lengthy process. It takes over eight hours if you don't have the cells uh, charged to start with. What it does is it charges them all the way up to 100%, discharges them all to 100%, uh, or 0%, I should say, then charges them again and measures everything. You get voltage, you get the uh, resistance in the cell, times them, and you get the capacity where there, which is the main thing I was looking for. These are rated for 5,200 milliamp hours, and this cell tested for uh, 5,609 milliamp hours. Another cell test tested for 5,400. Another cell tested for 5,293. So that's well over the 5,200 milliamp hours that the cells are uh, rated for. Prices at time of filming are pretty good for U.S. cells shipping from an Amazon warehouse. A pair of cells are going for about $12 with $8 shipping. Buy a second pair and only still pay $8 shipping. So that's $32 for four cells with shipping. Uh, shipped in a couple days, which is really good for Keep Power branded cells. The original price on these were $26 a pair. So get them for $20 shipped is a pretty good sale. After testing, I got to talking with the seller and the reason why these are on clearance is because they're having to liquidate their inventory on Amazon. Amazon's changed their policy as to who's still allowed to sell lithium ion cells. And since this new seller was a little newer, they got uh, chosen to not be allowed to sell anymore. To buy them, I'll have a link in the description below and you can reach her directly on Facebook or email her. Payment is through PayPal, so if anything goes wrong, you have PayPal protection to lean back on. Again, if you've got a credit card, that's another layer of protection as well, just in case. I fully believe these cells are legit and they performed very well in my testing. I'll take the contact details out when uh, the sale's over and there are no more batteries. If you got any questions, please leave them in the description below and I'll do my best to answer them. And make sure you subscribe because I have more light reviews coming this week.